Tuvis is Psychic Bob here. It is so wonderful to be back with all of you. I got to tell you, a big happy new year again to all of you. I tell you, this last week we've had so many people joining Spirit Channel. They've been watching my videos. Uh, I did an annual 2017 predictions. And then the other day I did the 2017 astrological forecast. And if you didn't see that, that's in the queue right before this one. Yesterday, I know I said I'd get out of video, but Psyche Bob's been really busy. You know, with the new year, everybody's calling for private readings. So Psyche Bob's been a little overwhelmed. But I want to say thank you to all of you who've been contacting me. If you're interested in getting on my schedule for a private reading, I do charge for private sessions. Uh, you want to visit my website, robert-hickman.com. And you can also call my office at 571-483-2112. Or you can email me at readings at robert-hickman.com. We'll get you on the schedule. So I'd be happy to get you all on. Be a little patient. We're getting quite a number of people calling. Excuse me. Well, here we are. It's Saturday. And for those of you who've been longtime viewers, you know that today is Saturday night seance. That's right. This is a tradition that we do here. Every week we gather... I go into a trance state. I am a trance channel or a trance medium. And what that means is I go into an altered state of consciousness and spirit guides overshadow my consciousness and take control of my nervous system and they literally speak through me. Um, this is a very ancient practice, goes way back to ancient Greece. Um, there were channels even in those days and the spirit has used this as a means to connect with the earth. Uh, so for those of you who've been here, you know what this is about. But for those of you who are new, welcome. Um, as I said, this is every Saturday we do this. Try to do every Saturday. Sometimes we miss if there's a schedule conflict. But generally every Saturday we have this. It's our Saturday night seance. So I'm going to settle down and go into trance. Uh, you know, here you are welcome to my virtual home. If you were here in my home, I'd say pull up your chairs in a circle here around my chair. That's how we always used to do it in the spiritualist church. And we'll see what the spirit world has. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for being here. Well, I'm going to go into trance. So I'll see you when I get back. Hello there, this is Fletcher. So good to be back with all of you. Might we be wishing you a happy 2017. You know, over here in the spirit world, we don't have any sense of time. So, you know, we don't really have New Year's over here. But we do look upon the earth, and we see that a lot of humans are having a lot of fun down there. Oh, and I tell you, I'm not above chasing a skirt and having a sip of beer myself. So I'll be joining the festivities as they go on all over the earth. Well, it's so good to be back with you. And you know, this year promises to be a year of great power and glory. And we've got some other people here who've been studying the reality of what's coming to the earth. And they're going to be bringing it over to you. So I'll be stepping out of our medium's body here and let the others come through. This is Fletcher. So good to be back with you. Happy New Year to y'all. When I was a young man, I used to think only of the pleasures of the earth, and I was always at every gathering that could happen. I used to frequently seek out the parties. I would seek out those things of enjoyment, and I did have a grand time with all of them. As I became older, though, I became enmeshed, as many of you know, in the world of materialism and atheism, and I found myself moving into a stupor of darkness. And once the drugs took hold of me, there was nothing left of but a shell of my former self. Since coming here to the spirit world, I have had time to reflect upon my past, and I have come to understand where I went wrong. The wonderful thing about eternal life is that you do get a chance, if you choose, to step back from all trauma and have reflection. Over here it is a realm of peace. There is no judgment, there is only love and acceptance. The judgment that many speak of in their near-death experiences 
is that their own judgment. You will judge yourself in your life review. When you leave the body, you will become acutely aware of yourself, not as you think you are, but as you truly are. On the earth now, with this new year, many people are starting to say, what is it that the future holds? Where is their destiny headed? They are asking if they are in harmony with the true path of life. New Year's allows us an opportunity to stop, to pause and to reflect on what is real, what is important and what we should focus upon. I encourage each of you this year to allow yourselves to consider that you are more than simply flesh and bone, but you are eternal within, that you are spirit. Your life has travelled the cosmos, you have lived many lives, you have seen other worlds, all of this knowledge is buried deep within you. 2017 would be a very good year for all of you to look within, to delve into your past, to understand who you are, where you come from and where you are going. Do not be so harsh in your judgment and assessment of yourself. Over here all things are seen in a greater light. Yes, there will be self-judgment and in some senses great sorrow for the error that you have made. But also understand that there are guides such as myself who are here to help you. We will help you let set aside such self-condemnation. If you become too burdened in your own grief of your own self-condemnation, this is also a way to injure your journey, your spirit, and progress more slowly. You must take all things in stride. Over here we recognise that in your human self you have temptations and limitations in thought and in word and deed, and sometimes you wish to put the right word forward and yet it comes out wrong and you make a terrible error, and occasionally you may even fin somebody. Do not have self-condemnation, know that in your heart what you choose to do was the right thing. It may not have been perfectly executed, but over here in the spirit world, intent counts for much. I have been studying the Akasha here. The Akashic records are a record of all that has been upon the earth, and it gives glimpses as to yet what shall be. 2017 will be a year of great changes upon the earth. There will be rises and fall of great leaders, power balances will shift. There may even come a point upon the earth where people will have some trepidation and wonder if they are near the end of the world. I can assure you that from my review of the Akasha, there is no evidence of the world ending it this year. 2017 though is a year of reflection. The very foundations that are held to be eternal and secure in the material world may be rattled into a degree. When you see governmental shifts and the shifts in power that will occur, many will have fear in their heart. And they will say, are we headed towards disaster? Are we headed towards war? Do not approach it from such a fearful place. Your place of reference must be heaven is in charge. If heaven will guide and protect us and we give ourselves to the higher power, then we shall be safe no matter what transition may come. I have seen great rumour of war coming to the earth, and as we speak there is yet a build-up that could bring the appearance of what would appear to be World War III. We do not actually foresee World War III taking place, but there will be a belief that it is coming. Do not give in to this belief, for as you think so you create, and by your very mind you can shift your consciousness and create a reality that is not of the lower self. Every human upon the earth has two natures. You have your human self, your fleshly self, and then within you have your spiritual self. Your spiritual self knows all truth and all light and is aware of your eternal being. Your fleshly self is limited in its view and senses. Many upon the earth have forgotten their spiritual self and as a result they are left only with the material self. This is the self that generates war, that generates fear of loss, and the concept that I do not have enough. If one were to attune more closely to the spirit, one would understand that with one's consciousness, one can create all reality. If you think that you are impoverished, through your mind you can create wealth. If you think that you have no love, through your mind you can create abundance of love. The lack that exists upon the earth 
is due to the humans who operate in the lower self and operate from a vibration of fear. This vibration of fear limits you and slows your growth. Do not judge yourself. Do not condemn yourself. Love yourself. When I first came to the light, I had great self-condemnation. For as we said, when you come to the spirit world, your senses are very acute and you become very aware of how much tragedy you have created for yourself. When I looked upon my life and I had my life review, I shook my head in sorrow and true tears did fall. But you see, there are those over here who said to me, Erfren, some of the reactions which you undertook were through the lower mind, and because you did not access the higher mind, you were not able to get yourself free from that situation. And therefore the damages that you did, in some senses, you're not truly accountable for. Over here, intent counts for much. When I was asked, did you intend to do this destruction? And I said, no, I had no idea I was doing such destruction to my own body, through my drug use and to those around me. They said, you're correct, Alfred. You did not know and you do not willfully engage in destruction. Therefore, you're not guilty of destruction. You are guilty, however, of turning away from the light. And they did show me that in many opportunities in my life, the light was brought to me and wisdom was shown. And I did turn against it and walk away from it. Do not be as I was. Do not be ignorant. This new year is a time for you to let the light shine in your soul. Each of you are beacons of light of heaven. And if you would but remember that even in your darkest hour, you will have peace and your path before you will be illuminated. Thank you for receiving my message. I'll be stepping from the body. There are others who wish to speak. My name is Alfred. Greetings, my dear. This is Rose. Can you hear me out there, all of you? You know, many times when we enter the medium's body, we're not sure if we're fully connected and the vibration is transmitting. You know, I must say, I must echo Fletcher's words and also Alfred's words. This new year is a time of great power, a time of great transformation for each of you. Do you know over here I've been having grand affairs, grand parties? I've been decorating my home and having everybody in and out. I've been wearing my finest dresses and truly having a wonderful time. And so I wish to extend to each of you my personal blessings for a new year. I know that in 2017, you will have joy in your life. The spirit world will help you, and you need not have fear. Fear is something of, as Alfred said, the lower self. You know, in the earthly pain, I was greatly guilty, like Alfred, of being part of the lower self for the majority of my life. But you see, when you can transcend that, and you can do, my dears, then you will have freedom in your heart. So make the new year a time of joy for you. Many of you out there are at a transformation in your social lives. When you walk the spiritual path, many times you're very isolated and you feel as an older so as many of you are, as you don't understand this world and you do not relate to it. And you may even find that your own relationships are a bit of a struggle. 2017 allows you to set things right. You may take stock of your inner light and gifts. And if you honour yourself, your true self, then your light will shine bright and you will draw to yourself the very type of persons that will bring you friendship, that will bring you joy. If you wish to be a friend, or to have a friend, then be a friend. You see, some people sit around and they say, oh, I have no friends. And if you're in that position, you say, nobody calls me, I'm never invited. Then go out and be a friend to someone else. There is somebody near you, I'm sure, who sits alone, who has no one to speak to. Visit them and say, I would like to take you out for a lunch. Let us go have a tea or coffee. And if you do this, you're being a friend to them. And if you be a friend, in turn, you will have a friend. And so let 2017 be the year of expanding your social circle. From the spiritual world, 
we see a lot of glowing light on the earth. And this means that many people are reaching for the higher realms. And if you help lead others to the light, you yourself shall always dwell in the light. And so when you look at your world, do not look at it as a sad and dingy place, though I must admit it many times it seems that way. In that decay, in that dinginess, there are little sparks of light even, little rays of hope. Find someone who you can be the light of hope to. If you shine the light, the light will be in you and the others will lighten their own way. You will lighten the burden and they too will glow. So share the light, do not keep it to yourself. Love those who are alone, love those who seem the least lovable. Some of you I know watching tonight you work for homeless shelters and some of you work to help battered women and children. These are all wonderful things. Make it part of your mission to bring others into your work and help them find a new path in the service of love upon the earth. You know, this is the one thing I was most fortunate in when I was alive. Because of my family's immense wealth, I was able to do a lot of charity work. And I truly did enjoy helping, doing donation work and also staffing fundraisers and having events to raise money for charities. This is the one thing in my life that I was shown in my life review that truly really was worth me keeping being kept on earth for. Though much of my life was based in vanity and self-aggrandizement, when I did do charity, it did touch me on the soul level. And over here, the spirit world, the higher guides and angels, in during my life review, said, Rose, look at how your life and your light glowed during that period of time when you helped the poor. And I must say, I did have great joy in that. So today, be the light. Let this new year bring the light to others, and you will have true joy in your life. I must also echo the words of Alfred and say that at this time on the earth there will be many changes that come in 2017. But do not approach change with fear. That is the old way, the old paradigm said, oh, any change is bad change. But let yourself consider that this year, the year of changes, though dramatic as some will be, could be a great blessing to all of you. I hope that you will remember my words and let them help you in your time of need. Fletcher says that the power around our medium is fading, so I shall be stepping from the body here momentarily. But in closing, let me send each of you my blessing and let you know, please call upon us. When you have a need, reach out and say, Rose, will you help me? Alfred, will you help me? Fletcher, will you help me? And we most assuredly will come to you in your time of need. I've heard many of you call my name, and I have been present as many of you can testify. I thank you for allowing me to come here today. The power is starting to fade, and so I will have to be leaving. But I thank each of you for allowing me to come to Hey Tubies, this is Psychic Bob. Well, I tell you, I love to channel. Whenever I channel, you know, the power of the spirit as it courses through my body literally enlivens my whole soul. I feel filled with light and it's a real blessing to be an instrument of the spirit world. If you enjoyed today's channeling, you might want to pop over to my website at robert-hickman.com, link below. Pick up a copy of my book. This is um, my book, Messages from Rose. That's a picture of Rose on the cover. And it tells about my work with her, my work as a, as a channel. I think you'll really love it. You can pick that up. You know, and since you're starting your new year, what a great way to start the new year by attuning to the spirit world. I also have some other books over there which you might enjoy. Psychic Bob's Book of Wiccan Wisdom. You want to check that out. Ouija Mysteries, the Spirit Board Seances. So I have a number of books, uh, but definitely pop over to my website, pick one up or all of them, 
buy some for friends too. They're great gifts. And start off your new year working through the spirit. It's the best way to do it, I really think. Well, I'm so glad you're here. Listen, guys, keep it here. Tomorrow is Sunday. And that's the day of the sun. So we'll have something fun and mystical here. So make sure to be back here then. I thank you for being here. Listen, if you like this video, um, show me some love. Like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends. And if you can, hit subscribe, be part of our channel. We'd sure love you to be here. I want to give a big shout out and welcome to our new subs. Thank you. And also thank you to all of you who've been here for a long time. I love all of you and I'm so blessed. I send you my love. Blessings to all of you. And we'll see you back here tomorrow. Blessed be.